Hi everyone, it's Ashley and I'm here today to do a small haul. My mom's birthday was Sunday and there was a scrapbook store a couple hours away from me at least that we hadn't been to and so we figured it would be fun to go there and celebrate her birthday and it's a wonderful store. It was so nice to go somewhere and actually be in a real scrapbook store again. I've totally missed that feeling ever since Archivers has left. Um, there's a store near me, but they just don't get the brand new stuff. And it seems like if they do get something, it's because someone has requested it and then it's gone within by the time I can get there. So I just want to do the quick haul. I apologize if you can hear a loud grumbling noise. Um, our uh, electricity company came and said that they needed to trim a tree that was close to the road. So they're out there working away and I'm in here doing this. So the first thing I got, very boring, I just wanted some gift bags. I actually needed to go to Michael's and I had forgotten. Uh, imagine that, I got caught up in all new stuff. And this just is for my sons. He, he is having um, a Super Mario party and the items I'm getting for the fair bags don't fit in the typical loot bags. Oh, I'm seeing my tree go in their shredder, parts of my tree. So you might hear a big noise as I, oh, it makes me really sad. <laughs> uh, okay, cut, I'll like <laughs> do a little backstory. Uh, we built our house about a year ago and this land has been here for a very long time and the trees that are on our property they're so tall. I mean, that is what drew us to this lot. You just can't. I mean, I will be dead and gone. Aiden will be dead and gone before the trees ever get to this height. And um, every time it storms, I'm losing some branches. And now they're cutting away my tree out by the road. And I can just see it going into that shredder right now. And <laughs> Okay, back to scrapbooking. Okay. But anyways, so he's having a Mario party and it's so cute. I saw on Pinterest where you just put the star on here. So just something simple. So I got some bags. And then, let's see, we were excited. We like to make cards as well. And I guess you could use these for scrapbook pages. But we got some of the doilies. This one is by SEI Joyful Do uh, Doilies. And it comes with pink, a bright green, a light pink, and then kind of like a bright blue. I don't know if you can see those, but it's, um, they're really cute. So I got those and then Doodlebug just came out with their own, except you have to buy all the same color in a pack. So I got the lilac and it's available in 12 different colors and they come with polka dot and plain. I don't think they're... I don't know. My mom and I were talking about if they were plain on the back or if they were polka dots. So let's look. Well, you can't use the back because it's light. It's a white. So. Okay, so I got the lilac color. And there are 75 in here. And I got the Bumblebee, which is their bright yellow polka dot. So I got some doilies. And then this is the one stamp that I wish I would have gotten at that stamp away. And they had it, so I picked it up. It's by Great Impressions. And it's just a turtle with a present on his back. And I thought it would be really cute for tags, kids cards, and then men cards. And I could even put like um, a balloon hanging out of his mouth. So hopefully you can see that. And it is the red rubber. And then I got quite a bit of paper. I have been wanting this for a very long time. It's the Simple Stories Good Day Sunshine cardstock stickers. And it just has so much things that you just be so many things that you could use for non-summer the hearts the flowers the dream um so fun hello the viewfinder it's just really cute 
so I probably won't show you much of those because this has been out for a while and it's been in a lot of the popular kits. Oh no, there goes more of my tree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> I'm sure if you guys have large trees you can relate, but they're just throwing it in there. Okay, so then I was excited to see that she had a brand new line in there from Simple Stories called Sweater Web Weather, and it just got released. And let's see, I liked this because it is a very fall, hence the name Sweater Weather. And then the back is a orange kind of herringbone or whatever you want to call it. But I figured I could even use the floral for boys. My family and I were all going on a family vacation. My parents, grandparents, uncle, everyone like that, my sister, my nephew, we're all going to Gatlinburg for a road trip. So this will be cute to use for photos since we're going in October. And I did just get one of this. It is called um, Chris Days. I'm sorry, the one before was called Give Thanks. And this one is also floral. It's just darker. And then I got it for the back. It's kind of a white wash um, wood print. Wood grain. And then this is called Insta 4x4 Square Elements and 2x2. And I, they're the cut aparts and it is just very cute you could use well it pretty much is fall but there's some things that you could use in throughout your scrapbooks like it's a maroon color and it says blessed um, the house like if you've moved or have a story about your home or your childhood home um, but pretty much it is fall looking Okay, and then I got, I'd never seen this paper before. It's by Canvas Corp Silver and Craft Star. And it is just a craft with silver stars. I don't know if they're shining out. And they are metallic, so I don't know if that's going to show up. And then I wanted these, the We Are Memory Keeper, or We Are whatever, Sheer Metallic Silver Dot Vellum. And it is just a vellum dot. And then I got the gold dot as well. There's another one of those, and here is another one from the line. This is called A is for Autumn, and I thought I got several of these, maybe not. Um, I got it really for the hearts, but then on the back is a dark wood grain. This one is called the Paper Loft. I had never heard of the Paper Loft before. But they had several items from there. This is from Gearhead called Speed, so I assume a male gear line. And I bought it for cards. It's always hard to find backgrounds for cards. But then I bought two additional sheets for, it kind of looks like a trek, like a road, you know, like a pattern, but, or wheels. But I thought it would be really cute for a background paper. And then I got this also for cards. This one is KI Memories Playlist Audience. I didn't even know KI was still around actually. It says 2013, so it's not too old. But it is a pink paper with some different colored polka dots. And then the back is a grid. There goes more of the tree. Oh no, I see a really big piece about to fall down. <laughs> oh, and they are even using like a bucket lift, if that tells you how tall this tree is. And I mean, it's just, it's all coming down. But you know what? I, I'm like snipering and like staring out through my window. But they are cleaning up, so that's exciting. 
I'm just sad. My tree is totally getting butchered in the front. But I understand why. Okay, so playlist is called Volume. It's by the same. And this is really thick cardstock. I figured that would be really good for cards too. And then the back is what I liked too. And this is from that Boulevard, Boulevard Max collection that I had used last time with the stars. But this one is called... Shark attacks. Oh, on the back there's sharks. I got it for the striped. Okay, and then there is my paper I got and cardstock. Now I'm going to show you. Oops. Now I'm going to show you what other little embellishments I got. The Studio Calico Chipboard Shape Gold Stars. And I just love that. I guess my theme was craft brown and gold today. And then to go with that simple stories, I got the 70 cardstock die cut infamer bits and pieces from Sweater Weather. And yeah, 70. Very cute. Um, yeah, like my mom doesn't really use a lot of these in her scrapbooking, like like layering. She doesn't layer as much. And she had a good idea. She was separating them all out. There's some like a lot of flowers and a lot of hearts and tags that she could just use for um, whatever scrapbooking. Having it instead of just it being specifically geared for fall, which is this line is what it's made for. And I thought that was a really good idea. There are some really cute things that you could use versus um, just without things. But there's a cute little raccoon. Uh, not a raccoon, I'm sorry. A fox, a squirrel, a hedgehog, and tags, family together. Um, so very grateful. It was just really cute. So I liked her idea of separating them for her style scrapbooking and for cards or whatever. So even if you don't do a lot of layering, you might want to look at the pieces because they're pretty versatile for only being like four dollars, and you get a lot in there. And then I uh, wanted another wink of Stella, and I got the color red. So I'm sure everybody has seen those by now. And then the Maya Road Vintage Wood Stitch Heart and Arrow. And let me see if I can show you what these look like. I thought these were really cute. Let's see. Okay, so they are. Um, of course, I don't have like a quarter or anything. What can I show you that you guys can see? I would say more of like a half dollar size. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't think I really have any. So like here is, if you know what a doodle butt, like a, a typical roll of washi tape, uh, just a smaller size roll, I mean it compared to it. So it's a little bit smaller than uh, a roll of washi, but slightly, I would say about a quarter well, a half dollar, I mean. Yeah, I know that's probably pretty confusing. <laughs> it's bigger than a quarter. How's that? Slightly. Anyway, so you get the arrows and hearts. And I've never have seen these before. Let's see. Eight pieces. Oh, silly. One and a half inch is what they are. <laughs> And let's see. And then my son is in soccer again, starting for the fall. And this was a really cute thing. I don't even know who made this. It just says soccer doodads. But what I liked, it was only $3.25. And there is two of them on here that have like flare attached to them. So like the soccer, um, what is it, soccer goal, and then the soccer field. 
And then these two down here are 3D. I just thought that was really cute. And I can use them in Project Life or his scrapbook. And then last but not least, um, that day I also got, this was at Michael's. We stopped at Michael's before and I used my coupon on it. The Becky Higgins Project Life 12 photo overlays and I got set number three. And if you want me to, if you want me to open the package, let me know, but it's going to be kind of hard to show you them since they are acetate. So maybe if I just go slow. So let's see, there's one that is just completely plain. It looks like it just might have like a border around it. There is one that has a star um, design going down on the left. There's one that has a whole bunch of dots going down the bottom. There's one that says the beauty of every day. There is one that says this is so you. There's one that says my happy place. There's another one with more of a detailed border but no wording. There's one that has a frame around it that says you and me. One with a tag that says beautiful. One with just a, um, a design going down the left hand side of it. One that's completely polka dotted. Or it might be diamonds, I can't really tell. And then there's one that says you make me happy when skies are gray. So that is what I got. So that was my um, smaller haul, but still so much fun to play with. And now I can put all this up and have fun with all my stuff. And I can't wait to use the new Doodlebug doilies. There was line I really was hoping they had there. I'm really wanting the pink Paisley Solstice line. My husband and I took Aiden to Michigan last year. Uh, for a quick and prompt to spur of the moment trip just to get out and see some water and he thought it was the beach so that works for us because it wasn't as near as a long drive and to go to Florida or anything like that and um, you know it's, it's obviously not the beach but if you were to close my eyes and put me there I would have thought it was the beach it just doesn't have palm trees and of course the water just isn't um, yeah, if you can hear it, there goes another big piece of my tree. But uh, it just wasn't, you know, salty or whatever. So I want to kind of like, I guess I like the pink paisley because it has anchors and it's summer feeling, but it's not summer, tropical, beach, palm trees, because obviously we didn't go there yet. So with him, we took him to Florida, he just doesn't remember it. So, but I want to scrapbook that and I'm kind of holding out for perfect line so I do need to place a small order and I'll probably do that very soon so that was the one thing I was hoping I could find but obviously I didn't have a problem finding new stuff okay well I'm gonna get off here I need to go meet my son at the bus stop and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and be sure to subscribe for more videos I do have a card one coming out but it is the card I gave my mom for her birthday so I just didn't want to put it up there yet I want to make sure she got it. So thank you so much for watching and have a great week. Bye.